Hey everyone, this is David with Benchmark. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up an S321 base with an S320 rover using Carlson Sir ZE5. So the first thing we're going to want to do is just click this Equip tab right here. And then click on GPS base so we can set up our base. Now, since our base is an S321, we want to make sure that we have S321 selected in model. And as always, Hemisphere GNSS selected as manufacturer. I'm just going to hop over to the comms tab. Uh, we're going to be using a Bluetooth connection, and in this device tab that drops down, you can just select the serial number of the unit that you want to be your base. Now if it's not there, you can use this wrench button on the side to configure and connect new receivers. Now to make sure I have a good connection, I'm just going to click this receiver with a plug button up top, and it's just going to go through and make sure the connection is solid. Alright, there we go, so I'm just going to go to the receiver tab now. Uh, Make sure that your antenna type is this one for your base. And then for our antenna height, we're going to want to measure from the ground to the bottom of our receiver. Uh, I'm just going to leave mine at 1.5 for now and continue. So we go to the RTK tab. We want to be using internal UHF radios, and we're going to be wanting to use the message type of rocks because that works really well with the S320s. I'm just going to go to this radio settings to make sure that I have all the settings I need to talk to an S320. And also, if you ever want to change your radio frequencies, this is where you go. It's just retrieving the settings right now. And uh, right here, so I'm going to leave the protocol at PC1 because that works really well with the S320s. Um, I'm going to leave the power on high. And uh, channel, sure, we'll use 447, but if you ever want to use a different channel, you can just type it in, in here and it'll save it, or you can choose it from this drop down menu. Uh, so since it has all the settings, I'm going to hit this green check mark up in the top, and it's going to Save all the settings to the radio, make sure it's configured. And then I'm going to hit the green check mark again to continue with my base setup. Uh, once it gets through these progress bars, it's going to ask me how I want to find my base location right here. So I can read from GPS, I can enter a lat long or grid system coordinates, um, or if I'm on a known point, I can use that. I'm just going to read from GPS, and I'm going to do it 10 times. Now what this is going to do is it's going to take 10 shots, it's going to take the average position and save that as your base position. Uh, once it's done, it's going to ask me stuff like if I want a broadcast ID, if it's a busy area, or if uh, if my point is good, stuff like that. And so you'll see here, yeah, I'm not going to use a broadcast ID because I'm not in a busy area. And uh, that lap long looks about right, so I'm just going to continue with my base setup. And... Uh, once it's done with this, it's going to ask me if I want to save this information to the file. Um, I will, just in case I ever have to come back to it in the future. So I'll save it, yep, and I'll just replace my old one. And uh, that's it for the base. So for the rover, we just go to GPS rover. And uh, same thing, but for the S320, so we're going to make sure that we select S320 from this drop down. Go to the comms, this is the same as well. Uh, your receiver can be under here if you've connected to it before. If not, just use this wrench button to set up the connection. I'm just going to make sure I have a good connection. Yeah, so now I can go to the receiver tab. Now on the S320, the antenna height is measured from the tabs on the bumper, the inside of the tabs. You can hook your tape in there and measure it to the ground rather than to the bottom of the receiver. I'm again just going to leave mine at 1.5. I'm then going to go to the RTK tab. And in the S320, we're going to be using the NL400 microhard radio. So that's the one you want to select here. It'll take any message type, and I have use any broadcast ID checked. So I'm just going to click this wrench tab to make sure I'm on the same frequency as my base. And uh, make sure all those other settings are correct. Alright, so once you're in this screen, I'm going to leave the power at 1 watt, because that's pretty good power. You can see we're still in PC1, and our frequency is 447, which is the same as it was on the base. And I'm just going to hit the check bar, and it configures the radio. So I'm going to hit the green check mark again, and that's going to configure the rover completely. And uh, once that's done, I can go check on my position and stuff, and start staring points from the survey store points button. As you can see, I'm already fixed. And I, my residuals are horizontally, I have 5 millimeters, and vertically, I have 8 millimeters. 
Uh, so that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions about the S321 or want to see it in action, give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit our website at www.bench-mark.ca. Thanks and have a good day.